Hey everyone, this is Cameron back with another sales update video. This is from the date of August 2nd to August 8th. I had a pretty good week to start off the month. Um, not as great as I think some of the July weeks were, but definitely made some money. Very blessed and thankful for what happened. So we'll just jump right in to see what's sold. I'm noticing some of my picture, pictures have been subpar lately. I've been kind of messing around with some new things. My ca original camera broke, um, and I've been using other options, and I don't, I'm not really happy with the lighting and everything. So I really need to work on that to clean up the listings, but things are still selling, and people are still paying full price or good prices for things. So it's something I want to correct, but um, bear with me as you see some of the photos. Uh, this one is a little pet shop, though. Love selling these, like I said before. This cat was out of a lot that I had bought. I've already made my money back, um, and he sold for ten bucks with free shipping. It cost two dollars and four cents to ship these guys, so you can make after fees like six or seven bucks. Um, I want like six something on this, which is pretty good. This is a video game from my girlfriend. She had a bunch of video games that were her and her family they were going to get rid of, so I've been selling them for them. Now this one sold for $17 in one day, so that was pretty cool. This was her Game Boy Advance. Uh, sold it for $27. Um, no games, just the thing in the with the battery pack, or battery pack cover. Uh, no batteries, but went for $27, bucks, so that was great. Chips first class. I had bought in one of my haul videos, I believe I showed these, um, maybe I didn't know they were two um, faucet sets. This one was a kitchen faucet, paid five bucks, it was uh, brand new in the box. Um, took an offer of 30 because it shipped local, pretty locally to somewhere in California, so it was really cheap to ship. So paid five, got 30, that was great. Um, Nintendo DS here. This was one of those uh, things for my girlfriend. This was actually hers. Her DS had some stickers on it of the Nintendo dogs and stuff. Uh, I took a best offer the first night. I listed it for 55. That was pretty good. I felt for a DS in the box with a couple of games that were not that great. Um, this I had bought it was in one of my haul videos. Um, five bucks for a Barbie's golf set with three clubs: the driver, a wedge. And a putter with the bag. There were no balls, and I think it probably came with some balls that said Barbie on them or something, but I didn't have those. A little bit of wear. Sold this for the full price of 60 bucks. I think it shipped for 24 25 something like that, um, which wasn't too bad. It ended up shipping to the East Coast, but I was happy because I only paid 5 So 5 even into 30 is so good for me. Made probably 20 something in profit on this. Another little pet shop. This is a beagle, um, really cute one. Uh, it sold for twelve bucks uh, within a couple of days of being listed, so that was awesome. Fifty Shades of Grey uh, used to be get a lot more for these sets, but nowadays um, not as much. But they still sell. I actually paid three dollars for these, which is a little bit more than I wanted to. They sold for fourteen. I think it cost three twenty-two to ship them media mail, and then. After fees, you make like four dollars, so not a lot on this one. I really like to pick them up if I can get them for like fifty cents a piece, and then sell them for the fourteen, fifteen bucks, and that's pretty good. So, not a huge money, but they always seem to sell. This is interesting. It's um some vintage like plastic wear. Um, it's pretty cool. It's one set. It's called Heller, made by Heller, H E L L E R. Um, and it's designed by some Massimo Vanelli, or however you pronounce that. Um, but I had this for a while. I paid five bucks for all this and one other bowl that was a different set at um, an estate sale. And I listed it before and it wouldn't sell for a hundred. Then I took a hiatus from eBay and came back and I relisted it at I think a hundred again and it didn't sell. And I dropped it down to eighty nine ninety nine and someone paid full price. And ended up going out. Uh, I think it cost like 20 bucks to ship, but I paid five bucks, so that was awesome for this week. Wisconsin jersey. This has been listed for a good minute on here, but it ended up selling for 13 bucks with free shipping. It shipped first class. Uh, it was actually light enough. It looks like it would be a heavy jersey, but it ended up being like 12 ounces, so that was pretty cool. He was happy with it, gave me positive feedback. I think I paid two bucks, so I didn't make a ton, but I just wanted to get rid of it. The Shroud Humans, love selling video games. This one I had just lying around. 
Um, and it sold for 10 bucks with free shipping, so that was awesome. This was one of those pictures I said sucks, um, but that's okay. It's a uh, TV couch potato thing. It's like a little thing that holds your cup, um, maybe some snacks, and your remote control, and it goes in the side of your armchair. 49ers one. It was actually, it looked brand new. I listed it as used because it was open, but I don't think anyone actually took the pieces out. I paid three bucks at Goodwill. Sold it for twenty. It shipped for I think seven. It's uh, one state over or something like that. And the guy gave me good feedback, so um, that was all right. I thought it might be worth a little bit more. I couldn't find it when I first found the item in the store and thought it might sell, but ended up only getting twenty bucks, so that's okay. Uh, some VHSs I had bought. Um, I don't really do Amazon FBA or anything like that. I probably should because I sell video games, but found these VHSs and they were a dollar each and was, they were brand new sealed so I grabbed them and I thought maybe they will put them in a lot. They sold for 14 bucks. Not a whole lot but that's okay. Um, I really should probably get into FBA. Here's one of my girlfriend's video games. Look out for this one. Fire Emblem for the Game Boy Advance. Fire Emblem period. Uh, there's a couple other um, game titles that Fire Emblem's on. They always sell. Well this one sold for 35 bucks just for the Game Boy game. No manual or anything like that. That was awesome. Another one, the picture was a little bit blurry, but Star Wars Battlefront 2. Burn this game into your brain. Um, it sells well on the Xbox and PS2. On PS2 I got 18 bucks. On Xbox you probably can get 25 or 30 for it. Maybe even more. It's a little bit more rare, but even the regular Battlefronts always seem to sell for Star Wars Battlefront, the first one for PlayStation and Xbox. So definitely a good series to look for. Another good sale we had, this was a the other part of that shower faucet set. This one I bought for 15 when I bought the other one. It was again in the box. It was open, but all the parts were there. None of it was used, the manual. I listed it for 90 with free shipping. Uh, he ended up paying full price, and I think it cost like 16 or 17 to ship. And I uh, made really good money on that for a $15 investment. Uh, here's some... Nerf laser, not Nerf laser tag uh, goggles. These ones are for the heads-up display. It has the little um, piece that connects to your gun. Uh, these ones didn't have the cable that connects to the gun. They had the basic piece and they have the little eye piece that goes over the actual goggles. Uh, I had five of these. I don't usually put these in with um, the guns because I usually don't have the cords to connect them. So I don't want to put it in there and then the person thinks they're going to be able to use it. So I've kind of just had them lying around. I've made all the money on the actual laser tag guns. So I put these in a lot just thinking maybe someone would buy them and I could make a few bucks. Someone bought them out of Canada. They paid um, shipping as well. So 25 bucks was pretty cool and I basically paid nothing for these. So that was awesome. Sold a pair of Air Force Ones I believe. Um, these I've had for gosh knows how long. I'm not sure. They were in really good condition though. The stars in the front were in great shape. They were a big size though, size um, 15. There's some big shoes and I took a best offer of 30 because it went fairly local. I like selling shoes but I don't like to have too many at one time. I'm not an expert but um, they just take up space and I like to, to move them so when someone was local and wanted to pay 30 I figured that was worth it to get rid of them. Another one of the video games from my girlfriend's lot that she had. This was a Nintendo DSXL, DSIXL. Um, this one was in like mint condition. It looked really great. I had five games here, so I, I just picked five and then a little out one that was loose and put them together. It sold within a couple of a week or two for 90 bucks. So that was pretty cool. And lastly, the best sale of the week and something that I've had for a long time and finally got around to listing. A Coleman uh, Lantern, they call it the Christmas one because it's red and green, the model 200. They have the 200A, I think, and 200B, but this is just the base 200. It's from 1951. I believe the month of April is, is 451 is what it's on there. So I paid 4 bucks for this at a garage. So it was in a Coleman Lantern box, but a new one, the battery-operated one. They had shoved this in there, and I think that's why it was still there when I got there because... Everyone assumed it was a newer one and wasn't of any value, but I opened it up by chance and saw this was in there and picked it up. Um, it definitely was used, but it was in really great shape. Had it listed for 200 because they usually go anywhere from 80 to 150, 160. 
I left mine at 200 or best offer. Someone locally offered me 150 for it. So I accepted and took it apart. You can take the red top off and then that allows the globe to come off the glass piece. So I took the red top off, bubble wrapped that and tied it in a box, took the globe, bubble wrapped and put it in a box, and then took the bottom section of bubble wrapped and put it in a box, and then put all three of those boxes in one and shipped it. It was still cheap to ship because it was local, and it just made sure that the item wouldn't be broken by the time it arrived, because if the globe breaks, you're pretty much screwed. It's not going to be worth near as much as what you got, especially these ones that have the sunshine logo on them. This one does has a little sunshine logo that uh, people are looking for on the globe so 150 paid for even the time in the boxes and all that I still made quite a bit of money so that was pretty awesome hope you guys liked the video um, almost caught up with these um, but I uh, definitely sold some good stuff obviously some of it was my girlfriend stuff so they'll get the money for that but we still made money um, please like comment and subscribe let me know if you have any questions and hope you guys are doing well on your end as well take care